I have mentioned many times in previous videos that China is at the forefront of AI applications and is much ahead of the United States. This may be contrary to most people's intuition. Isn't the United States the strongest country in AI? Aren't ChatGPT, Claude, Grok all from the United States? Yes, these generative AI, that is, general large models, the United States is ahead of China. But I also said that these document, image, and video processing assistants can only improve productivity in limited areas, and their current role is overestimated. The AI applied by China is actually improving productivity. I have mentioned about China's drones, unmanned vehicles for delivery, and automatic cleaning robots. These are actually used in production and life. The Chinese are also the most receptive to changes in lifestyle in the world. For example, if there are robots providing services in restaurants, then this is definitely a plus. Robots delivering goods in hotels are also considered more suitable than waiters. When cleaning robots take away the jobs of cleaners, when drones and unmanned delivery vehicles take away the jobs of couriers, and when unmanned taxis take away the jobs of taxi drivers. The Chinese generally believe that this is the only way for productivity development. There is no doubt that China is a country with low human rights. Anyone may be sacrificed, especially if your industry hinders the development of productivity. For example, China's warehouses, airports, and docks have been implementing unmanned operation changes for many years. And a large number of industrial workers have been swept out and forced to find other ways out. And it is difficult for them to screw screws on the production line of the factory as before, because Chinese factories are also implementing unmanned operations. Xiaomi and other Chinese electric car factories have achieved highly popularized unmanned operations, stable product quality, and controllable production capacity. So what did these eliminated workers do? Many people are forced to engage in small businesses, such as opening restaurants and retail stores. However, even in traditional industries such as restaurants, robots are stealing human jobs. The video shows a barbecue machine in a Chinese barbecue restaurant. It only needs one employee to operate it to provide food for a large number of customers. Such a machine will also save a lot of labor and reduce production costs. Don't underestimate such low-level AI. It requires developers to immerse themselves in the entire process of the barbecue business, repeatedly improve the logic, optimize the process, and it is not easy to do it well. It reflects the details of China's social improvement of productivity. As a result, more and more people are being driven to jobs that are only suitable for humans. However, with the rapid progress of AI, some jobs that were previously only suitable for humans, such as psychological counselors, writers, legal advisors, etc., cannot compete with AI in their entry-level positions. So what jobs will Chinese people do in the future? In fact, it is very simple. If a restaurant owner can operate a restaurant well by operating a machine and arranging a few robots to deliver food, then his competitors will do the same. The future business competition model is that humans give AI the correct instructions to create more social wealth, and those who cannot learn to use AI will be marginalized. When AI begins to create social wealth and provide services, the wealth level of the entire society will be greatly improved, and those who cannot adapt will be supported by the social security system. It's just that their living standards cannot be compared with those who create wealth. Yes. I often mention that China is a jungle society. People have to face cruel competition since you were in kindergarten. The Chinese have become accustomed to all this, so that when technological changes come, everyone is accustomed to it. Such a society lacks warmth, but it is indeed more efficient. If one day, people from all over the world can fully enjoy the wealth leap brought by AI, and the poorest people can also have a high-quality life guarantee then how many people will care about the gap between the rich and the poor? A society without the desire to compare will naturally become more harmonious. So, when I saw Trump calling for the defense of the U.S. steel industry, the U.S. auto industry, and the jobs of dock workers in the media, 
I really thought he should go to the hospital to check his brain. Outdated production methods should be eliminated, and if American workers cannot compete with machines, they should find another way out. Sticking to outdated production methods will only make the U.S. manufacturing industry decline further. It is no longer the Reagan era, but the 2020s.